Hello students, welcome to the EVS class. Today we will start a new lesson and name of the lesson is Our Universe. As you can see in the picture also that it is a picture of our universe, our space. Okay, so let's start with our lesson. So students, what is universe? Now you can see in this picture that we have our earth in the center and we have sun, stars, moon, cloud and other things also around the earth. So students, universe is the empty space around the earth which consists of the sun the moon and the stars okay the universe is very large so today we will discuss about universe okay students i hope word universe is clear to you now so now i will tell you about stars you all know about the stars that what are stars stars are very beautiful and you can see stars at night in the sky so the stars are very far from us each star is made up of different gases okay students stars have their own light they have their light that's why they shine very brightly okay so now i will tell you about sun sun is also a star okay remember it sun is also a star and it is the biggest star of the universe and it looks so big you know why it looks so big? Because it is nearer to us than other stars. Okay. And students, now you can read that I have written sun is the biggest star. I explained to you. And it is also known as a huge ball of fire. You know why we call it a huge ball of fire? It looks like a ball. That's why we call it ball and it's a ball of fire you know why because it is very 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 hot have you experienced that when sun shines brightly you feel very hot in summers so you can imagine that if sun is shining brightly and we feeling hot then if we go nearer to sun then how would we feel so sun is very hot you cannot go near to sun now next i will tell you that we get our heat and light from the sun only okay students we need heat and we also need light to live without light you cannot survive in dark so we need heat and light to live and we both things we are getting from the sun okay students now next i will tell you about this thing and this is ursa major now you will think what is ursa major so look at the picture that it is a pattern of stars it is made up of stars and it is looking like a teaspoon okay so ursa major is made up of stars and it is known as constellation what is constellation some stars in the sky are arranged in such a manner or in such a way that they make a pattern and ursa major is also looking like a pattern of spoon so that is a constellation but its name is ursa major in the same way we have other constellations also in our universe okay next i will tell you about solar system it is very interesting now solar system you can see that there is a sun in between in the center and we have some lines around it 
on each line we have a planet and on the third line we have earth students i have highlighted the earth from the black color so that you can see it easily earth is a planet on which where we live and we have other planets also on each line each and every planet rotates on its own axis and revolves around the sun now i i am explaining it in hindi that har planet sun ke charo taraf ghumta hai that is revolution aur wo apni position par bhi ghumta hai that is rotation okay next in the next picture you can see that how many planets we have we have eight planets okay and each and every planet revolves around the sun and rotates on its axis also and they don't they never cross their uh, lines they rotate or they revolve on their own orbit on their own line okay and in between they have many stars and other things also it looks very beautiful solar system looks very beautiful now you can see also in the picture that it is looking very beautiful sun is in the center and planets are rotating around it okay and we have earth on the third orbit okay students so this is our solar system and this is the family of sun i hope this lesson is clear to you